Hi YouTube, Brian James at Micro Four Thirds Guy with you here once again. And you may be wondering what this is going to be about with the description, but basically I've been offered quite a number of products since I started as a YouTuber. And some of these products are here for advertising for them. Some of them are just for me. The ones just for me are just, that's fine. But the ones which I want advertising, I thought I'm going to tell you about my philosophy on the products which I actually review whether I endorse them or not, online. And there's been a few, but let's take it back a little bit. I've been doing this channel about uh, three or four years now, and in that time it's grown. I've got over 10,000 subscribers now, which is wonderful, but that makes you very interesting to some of the uh, manufacturers of photographic equipment because they want to sell their product, and they want to have that product marketed. Now, marketing campaigns can be enormously expensive, so one really good way to hit a large number of people is to find out the people who are in the right area because you can send out adverts or marketing leaflets to millions of people but if there's only a thousand people out of that million who are interested in the product you've wasted a lot of your time but if you can target those people then you've got a better chance and that's what happens with the advertising now sometimes there's an awful lot of people will get um, will get paid sponsored for a video by a manufacturer or by a service provider and they'll pay for the whole video as a cash payment. I've never had one of those yet. Yet. If anybody's interested, I'm looking. Um, but to that helps to boost up the channel as well. But the other thing is that certain manufacturers will offer you products to review. Now, what do we have in a way of products to review? Well, it could be anything from cleaning cloths all the way through to full camera bodies, um, tripods, accessories, whatever it is in the photographic line, and especially on this channel in the Micro Four Thirds line. Well, I've been offered a few of those over the time, and I did one just uh, just a week ago, and that was um, this, this Xeon um, 20 watt lamp, which I did a review on. And um, they, what they did in this, in so far as sponsorship, is they got in touch, asked if I was interested, which I was, because I use video lights for what I do. And I said, yes, I'd be interested in seeing the product. And I reserved the right on all of these to, um, to criticize if I see something. One of the things I criticized on this, was the method of switching on and off. There is actually another thing that I'm going to criticise on this because it's got the old fashioned type screw fit for the for the um for the hot shoe. And I've been using my my speed lights recently and a lot of them have got the nice slidey thing, so it's another criticism, but that's about all. But why did I say yes to this when there are hundreds and hundreds of other products who've been in touch with me and I've said, No, I don't want to use your product, I don't want to review your product. Well my ethos is very, very simple on this. First of all, if I'm going to be talking to you about a product, then I want that product to be something I would personally use myself. Uh, I don't tend to use sensor cleaners. I'll send it into a camera shop to get that done if I'm going to do it. I don't tend to use an awful lot of these cleaning kits. I've been cleaning cameras since I was six years old, and these fancy new kits don't do much for me. But I keep on having them offered to me, and I keep on refusing. So my philosophy, first of all, is only to review products which I might have an interest in. Now I've got this, as I say, this is very interesting to me because I do a lot of video work, but also I can use this as a stills light and I have done a couple of times. I'm very impressed with it. I've obviously done lens reviews. I've done a 7 Artisan um, 6mm, was it a 4mm? I can't remember what it was, but it was a real fancy fisheye lens. It really was um, an interesting lens to do. And also this TT Artisan 50mm f2, which I did. And I've got the lenses and I still use both. Um, if I was to get a product which I didn't think I was going to like, and I was probably going to slate it, I think the moral side of me would say send it back. Because if it's not for me, if it's not something which is going to um, be useful for me, then I'll send it back. So what do I get on these, and why is it important to tell you? Well, first of all, I've got my integrity, and if anybody knows me, they'll know that my integrity is probably the most treasured thing I have. I really do value the fact that I have integrity where I can. Uh, none of us are perfect. Quite often we'll, we'll do things which don't hold our integrity, but to strive for having high integrity and to strive for living around high integrity, to me, is important. So I'm not going to say that something is wonderful when it's not. I can't say that to you. I can't lie to you on things. Um, and to me, it's got to be something which is going to be something I would be interested in using and endorsing. I can't also, with integrity, take something from a manufacturer, whether I'm in the right field or not, and take it on the basis that I wouldn't 
be wanting to use it myself. That would be unfair to them, because how can I do a decent, unbiased, level-headed review? I can't. So to me, if I take a product, it's something that I'm interested in. Now, I have uh, another product at the moment, which is charging, and I can't tell you because I've got a video coming out very soon, but it's a form of video camera. It's not a Micro Four Thirds camera. And that might make people sit up and think, well, you're a Micro Four Thirds channel. Well, I am. But how I make my videos isn't necessarily just on Micro Four Thirds. I use my Micro Four Thirds as my main cameras. And true, the vast majority of my f videos are done on Micro Four Thirds cameras, but not all of them. I've done a few on iPhones. Um, I bought myself a, an iPhone gimbal, a DJI Osmo 5, to do um, walk and talk videos uh, with my iPhone. So I'm not totally restricted to Micro Four Thirds, although the vast majority of my videos go around that. So the other camera I've got is a one and one eighth inch sensor, I think it is, on that one. Um, something around about that size, I'm not totally sure without the specs. And it's a vlogging camera, it's a camera which allows me to do these sort of videos and hopefully do them really well. So that will be coming up as a review. That will be a paid review. And whenever I do a review, whether I'm getting money from the manufacturers or whether I'm just getting a product, you'll always see in that top corner, I think it's that top corner, a little thing at the very beginning of the videos which says paid review. Because to me, if I'm getting a product, even if I haven't got money, it's still um, incentivized by them. So I'll always let you know that that's the case, if that is the case. There are other things I review, which I don't, which it isn't up there. If I'm doing one which doesn't have the little sign in the corner when I start saying it's a paid review, it's something I've dipped in my own pockets for, or I've borrowed from a friend, I've borrowed from a colleague. Um, what am I thinking of in that? Um, the 12 to 40 Olympus lens that I did last Christmas, last uh, just before Christmas time in 2022. Um, that was borrowed from my colleague Trevor, and um, because of that, he paid for it. He put his money in his pocket for it and did it and loaned me to that. So that wasn't to me a sponsored video. That then begs the question, well, why take sponsored videos at all? Surely I can just make videos and upload them. Well, I can, but I'm not rich. I'm not well off. And although you see people who are making millions from being on YouTube, I don't. I can assure you, I really don't. Um, it's very very rare that I'll get up anywhere near covering the cost that I incur to make most videos even a video like this I've still had to buy equipment for I've still had to buy lighting for I've still had to buy backdrops for and not only that this one is a fairly inexpensive video to do but it's still time this is time I'm not cleaning the house up while my wife's out working I'll be in trouble for that won't I probably anyway this is a video which I'm taking time up to do but there's a lot of videos where I drive around the place and hence why quite often I'll ask if you would like to support me with a cup of coffee. Um, actually, the, it, a lot of it does go on coffee because I need coffee to keep going. But um, a lot of that, what I, what I do get from both that, my Patreon and my ad revenue comes straight in the door and straight out again onto paying for things which I can review, onto paying for fuel cost to get to places. Fuel cost is the killer. It really is the killer. And... Um, Basically, anything which is a shortfall comes out of my pocket to put into um, making the videos. So any support I can get, say this, I would never have been able to justify easily spending £169 on this. I could have if I'd known what I thought of it, but I didn't know what I thought of it beforehand. So it's a double-edged sword. I'll turn it around. And give it a uh, it's a double-edged sword. So for me, being able to actually try before I buy was really really useful but also it meant that it's 169 pounds which I wouldn't have to spend on this video light which I could spend on fuel to go out and do other videos so I hope you understand where I'm coming from on this I would hate the idea of misleading you any of my viewers and if you ever feel that I do a review and I mislead you on it then please let me know because it's not the thing I want to do but hopefully that answers the question I had quite a few questions actually after that weevil um, that, that's sorry, that, that Zion video just not the uh, ah, just not the front. I'll show without the front, I'll show it just with the diffuser after doing the um, the Zion um, M20C here. I got a few questions on that and saying, Have you sold out? Are you, what's this thing about taking sponsorship? It said paid review on the top, yeah, it, it is. And um, I'm quite happy to do those paid reviews, it's the common way on YouTube, 
but I also have integrity and want to be straight. So hope you appreciated this little this little video. Hope it's um, put you in the right direction as to where I'm coming from on this, and um, hopefully give you a bit of reassurance as to the reason why I'm doing them. However, till the next time, keep on taking your cameras, keep on taking your lenses and video lights and anything else out with you, and keep on having fun with your photography. See ya. Thank you.